Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for my nifty 50 page kit series. There's complete unboxing, all kinds of getting ready videos, all of that for this project. So we're just gonna jump right in. I am using an October 2022 uh, collection, flavors of the month, etc., from the scrap room for this. Um, let's see. It is all based on Parasol by, by uh, Maggie Holmes, and it's quite pretty. I mean, I've got a full-size background in, oh, I have two. Okay, I'll have some for next time. All right, that's the first time I've had a full size, so that is awesome, because, you know, I might need one for another one. I won't be using two for this, because it's not like I want to mat, you know, this one in the same exact pattern. So that is in fixed world. That's great. So that's my background. Here's my photo. This is my daughter and her best friend. And this is when my daughter was ever so blonde. And it looks like yet another country music situation. So we have that. Great. Doesn't like, look at how the blue matches. So cute. Okay. The sketch I'm going to use, this is from a Joyful Scrapper. And I have it pulled up on my iPad as well, but it is just in black and white. So we're not losing a lot in translation. Now, in a perfect world, this would be matted. Hmm. Okay, I'm twitching. She said to Matt, what do I do? Hold on, I just wanna see if it adds anything. It doesn't, it, it just doesn't add anything. Okay, I wanted it to add something, it doesn't. Okay, so we have that. Now my daughter's facing that way, so that's where the photo will lay. So if you had enough to mat, you would mat. There is a piece coming across this way and a piece going this way that I find to be quite interesting. And embellishments that go down the diagonal piece, a photo, looks like a couple tags, maybe some banners, a title, subtitle, boom, great. So, <laughs> I don't have a lot here. So let's see what we can do. Okay. Okay. I can do that. But, ooh, I really like that because it would already be on a diagonal. And I could do that for that piece. Because this piece, it's the cards, which are great, but that's not really going to help me. And I need something to do this diagonal touch. I could do that and have this on the diagonal, but it kind of feels like, ugh, why, you know? Then we've got these gorgeous butterflies as well. However, I did see that my, you know, past Shannon went ahead and fussy cut some out. So I feel like we're gonna be pretty good there. Now, what else do we have? Oh, that's the same thing. So I don't wanna do that. Got a piece of that, that'll come in handy. Now we do have this but I can map my photo with it. I just don't think it's gonna do enough. Just looking at all of my options. We've got some bows. Now, so it's like I don't have quite enough to do anything big and dramatic. Now this might be cute for an embellishment. What else do we have in here? Home is where the heart is, they weren't home. I'm just looking, okay. So we do have enough to get inspired by the sketch. Oh, and I didn't really show you. I've got puffy stickers, I've got flat stickers. Oh, I have a title I can do, love you. That would be perfectly fine. I've got some vellum little pieces. So I've got some nice decoration. And remember, I'm bringing in flair. I am bringing in random enamel dot bin. I've got puffies, I've got acrylics. Oh, and I've got my little wood pieces. So as things go, we'll build it out. We will build it out. Now, I also have three sets of alphas if I run into a situation where I feel like my title isn't doing enough, but I think I have enough for title here. So I'm like, okay. And the biggest goal is to use up the kits. Like I have this order of of, you know, in like little quotes, importance. And I mean, it's, it's kind of, well, for somebody who's like me that kind of dorks out with this stuff, it totally works for my brain. So everything in the kits, that's first big old priority, right? And then after that, we do, yep, yeah, trying to use up this adhesive too. It's a whole, what can we use up event 
Do we want it that way? Because it's going to go into here, right? Do we want it to go that way? Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Okay, so we have that. I will take this piece as far as I can. And guys, look at how it's kind of up and down. That's fun. It's, yeah, it's literally like an upsy downsy piece of paper. Yeah, that sounded so brilliant. <laughs> the lines look like they're sitting in the correct kind of placement right now. Okay, I only have adhesive in the very middle of my pieces. Oh no, that's an adhesive little adhesive paper. Okay, I just want to cover that tip and see if this is actually, like if the lines are lining up as it were. That's all, just because I think it'd be slightly more fun. It's just covering. I will definitely have to put a little something covering this little white bit right here, but that's totally fine. Let's fix this because I did a terrible job finishing it off. Oh, and if you guys hear the snoring, it's not your lawnmower. Blue decided it was nap time. And you do not stop Blue from doing just about anything Blue has decided on. Because, you know, he runs things. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's the first basis of this layout. And I think that's super fun. I'm going to cut out, well done, these tags. I'm also going to mat this with a scrap of white cardstock from my white little cardstock bin. I don't have any scraps of plain white cardstock yet in my um, leftover papers. My leftover papers right now are just these gorgeous little goodies that were from Simple Stories, I believe. So, Keeping in mind, I've crafted with most of these kits, you know, at least, I need this on something darker, at least once. Like, there's a couple that are like flavors of the month kits that I haven't, but for the most part, they have been well loved. It is all true. Okay, so let me fussy cut that piece. I'm going to get that title kind of down, and I have to figure out what... I'm going to use for the the pieces again clearly I cannot speak and create at the same time that's why I always pop right off okay and go off um camera for a minute because my brain is broken um I want to fussy cut these pieces I got to figure out what I want to do for this I'm kind of thinking I can come in with a scallop because oh that's like glued freaking together what did what do you guys think I did at some point? Yeah, there's no saving that. So I'm gonna chuck that. That paper is unloved. Okay, so that's not fun for it. Guys, this thing is like this dark teal situation. These hearts are kind of fun for it. And I have enough that I could do these black and white hearts in scallop form, top and bottom. How do we feel about that? I have enough for that. This is just like teal on teal on teal. And then let's see what else we have. Oh, that's another tag. Depending on the colors I want to bring in. I wish I had way more pink, but I just don't. And then this is the same color. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, some of these will be like, you know, matting up the photo as well. I'm going to get my, oh, perfect. It's here from a recent layout. My scallop punch, I'm going to create scallops going down the side. I'm going to map my photo roughly a bazillion times. Let's get, my title is Love You. Um, Love You, I don't know. And it says subtitle as well. I don't know if I, I might have something for a, love, a subtitle. And the reason why I say that is depending on how it goes. I also still have like stick, the sticker sheet. So... I'll come up with a, a title, a subtitle. I will get those scallops on. I have my fussy cutting to do, at least a double mat, and I'll meet you right back here. So let's take a look. I have this down. I just put my little tags on the wonk, covered that little bit that I needed to cover with something. These are puffy and they're super pretty. I love them. So I have love you for my title. I don't know if I wanna go in with gold for another, like for my subtitle. 
that is, you know, absolutely gorgeous piece of goodness. However, I don't need something like the same size for my title. Ooh, definitely want to try to use all of these previously fussy cut little butterflies. That would be super pretty and totally my vibe. Okay, let's see what else we have for our embellishments in here. Ooh, we've got a big bow that has a little adhesive on it. So I have to be super careful. That would be gorgeous, gorgeous right here. There's a little red like traffic cone or orange right behind my daughter's leg. So why not just cover that? Now it did show like some tags or tabs up here. So I'm like, you know, we could just go ahead and get that vellum piece right behind there and it'll give it a nice little something. Okay. Don't need that vellum piece. That scrap can be thrown away. <laughs> this is coming together. Let me, oh, you guys, look at this big poofy poof piece. This might be super interesting as well. So let me go like this and like this. We'll cut some of it off. I'll save the rest. Who knows? We might need it for something. And we can have that layered right on top of that vellum. Keeps it kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead where that tag would be. Oh, wait, I could put that circle right on top of the circle and it makes it kind of cute. Okay, we have that there. Um, let's see, there's a little black flower. I'm gonna wait till I use that with that word discover just because I would want the same finishes on something if I used it. I do have some black, so maybe I just lied. I do have some black, I'm gonna see how this goes, okay. Phew. Now I do know I want to get this flare in. I saw this and this will let me use up. Look at how pretty. That is absolutely stunning. That might be prettier there. And I could move this smaller one right here just to decorate that tag a little bit. This is up on a little bit of a pop dot. I'm going to leave that. So that means we finished a little something something up as part of our joy in life, finishing little products. And let's pull a couple of these cute little buttons. I love the, the little flare because you can tuck them all over the place. So I have one there, probably have one go down there. And oh, and we have this blue. So I'll do do right over there. And it totally brings you into looking at my girl. Okay, we have that flare is on there. Now I have three circly shapes, so it makes me not want to bring in this circly shape. Oh, guys, that popped right off like a pinata. Hold on. Ugh. See, is there anywhere? You know what? I'm going to just tuck that right there because I have a feeling it's going to get lost. So I'd rather just have it on something. So my title, I think, is like the main shebang. So I'm going to tuck Birdie in right there, being so cool. These pieces get to be saved with this. So I'm gonna put them into my, can be used on layouts as we go. All right, we have that. Ooh, this word lovely that's in here might be a good subtitle. Love you, lovely. Yep, that's my subtitle, found it. And that's from a previous kit. Chances are when I'm going to look for embellishments, I'll look in here first and then the stickers and all of that, just because I know how I vibe. All right, now let's look at flat things really quickly. We have Splendid. Look at the cute little house. Ooh, I like the camera. Definitely like the camera. And that's bringing in a little bit more of the black like we talked about. Let me see, I think I'm gonna tuck it like right here and we can see it stick out. Normally I would put clear stickers. Normally I would go ahead and put them on a little bit of um, white, like scrap paper, but, ooh, I like that right there. Building up a little cluster, so do, do, do. All right, this is actually starting to work for me. Let me get a little bit of a flat floral in and this also has some of that gorgeous deep navy that we had here and I will make sure like this butterfly is fluttering right around there. So we've got 
what is that is that isosceles i can't remember anyway we've got it oh look guys didn't mean it but look at same freaking color little button okay yeah excited about the little things clearly all right i'm gonna just put that down in there and here's another itty bitty little button and it is in like a little bit of a um, peachy shade. I'm gonna tuck that right there. Are there any other little buttons? I don't see them on here. Oh, they are in puffy form, that's fine. So let's just continue to layer a couple of these beautiful queer little florals because you can layer them and it's totally fine. They don't pack, you know, they're interesting but it's not like this massive punch that you're like, what the freak were you doing? You know what I mean? So it's fine. So why not get a little using of them done right quick? I think they're so pretty. So do, 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 do. look at how pretty that bright pink is. That would have worked on my last layout when I was looking for that color as well as that raspberry. Mm -hmm. And now it shows up, people. Now it shows up. Okay. The reason why I grabbed a bunch of these is I thought I would try to create a cute little floral cluster really quickly. There we go, to put around this piece because all of a sudden this is becoming a little bit of an embellishment in my head. Why not? I saw, oh, and I saw this little gold piece that I thought would be pretty as well because we have that gold in the title. Why not have it there a little tiny bit? Oh, and here's an itty bitty, like the smallest one ever for me to go ahead and pop into this cluster we're doing. We can go right on the camera. Okay, I used plenty of that. That makes me happy. Um, I think the next thing I better do is get these pieces down and get my butterflies on, and then I'll come in with some puffies, and we'll see if there's... <gasps> oh, my gosh. We have to get the wood in. <laughs> these are bigger. Then we'll come in with the puffies and all that, but I forgot, guys. We have to get the wood. Now, we've got these cameras that are in wood. I think that would be cute. I think I'll back it with a little, like, scrap of our pattern paper. Um, ooh, listening. Unfortunately, that just changed because they were at a concert, so we can have, like, listening to country music. Okay. Wish, play. Ugh, so cute. I don't need a lot, so why don't I one, two, and then, do I want to do it over here? Three. Just a couple little hearts and that listening tab. Okay, I'm gonna get the butterflies on. We'll finish up in just okay. a minute. So I've got my little butterflies on. I've got those pieces tacked down. I've got my wood pieces. I was so glad I remembered for you. Uh, next, I wanted to look at these little puffy puffs because I was kind of smitten by these little button details. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if there are any more little buttons. There's a cute little tiny one. No good reason. I just had them on here from, um, you know, from the paper. And then I found them in the flare. So I'm like, all right, apparently this is all about the button. Or it is on this time. Just this one time. So pretty. I'm just slightly tucking them in. If I need to add some liquid adhesive in a moment, I will. Not a big deal. Just thought I would go off a little bit and have fun with them. Do you guys see any more little buttons? I see the thread, I'm not doing that. That can go on something I do embroidery on or something. Okay, I think I'm good with my buttons. Got that cute little piece. Is there anything that, ooh, I love the florals. I don't even think I have the proper room for the florals, but like this one, I'm gonna tuck. Oh, so pretty. Is there anywhere else I can find to tuck florals? I've told you guys, I have like a floral disorder that if I have them, I will try to get them on. Let's go ahead and put it into this cluster so it's all coming out of the flare. Okay, I feel like I got somewhere. Um, there's no hot pink on this, so I'll leave the hot pink alone for now. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in my leftover embellishments. These are what I have of the papers that I will keep right here. It's a nice little stack. I might be able to use them. Now, let's see, oops, my glue shifted. Now, 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 I don't 
know if there's anything I'd need to desperately use from my Buttons Galore and more stuff. So let me see. Love the crystals. Love them. Um, but they are not the right color. This yellow is a little bright. The, the goodies I have in here to be used are just not quite Maggie Holmesy. That would have been, but we do not have a purple. Okay. Perfect. I always like to just shimmy through. This is my most current Maggie Holmes. These half pearls might work though. The little fishies are in now. The half pearls are gorgeous as well as, look at him guys. Oh, buttons galore and more. I should, I'll put all my links down below um, because there, I have a coupon code for buttons galore and more. Why the frick not? Like, look at how cute. And yes, I know I'm not using it right now. They're just cute. So yeah, I have a coupon code where you can save a little jingle. Um, so I'm going to put some of those on. What else to look at? What else to look at? Of course, I can come in if I need to with any of my enamel dots. These pieces that I have are just a little bit more whimsical. And then I have, let's see, I don't think that there's any acrylic pieces in here that are tiny enough. I can use some of these acrylic pieces though that I keep using just because they're so easy. Yeah, not really the vibe. Okay, let me just plop a couple of these pieces down guys and I'll come back and show you my finished layout. Okay, my friends, that was fun. I just added some of those gorgeous little goodies from Buttons Galore More, which gave me the flatback pearls for a little shine. Got a little bit of sequins going on. I think it's super fun. Oh, and I think the goodies I used, <coughs> I'm sorry, they're all from the Sun and Surf subscription box if you're looking for the exact same things. Okay, so I'll have links down below for that coupon. Yes, anything else you guys need to ask, go ahead and ask. Got my flair. I've got extra little bits on here. Even brought in something from a previous kit, which I think is super fun. And guys another kit killed. I've got a couple, I mean, I do have pieces left, but not enough to keep the kit whole. So we'll keep adding these little bits and bobs to layouts going forward. All right, a few still shots to follow, and I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.